All right, we're here at Kegham's for the 2014 Motocross of Nations. It's the Wednesday before the before the big race, and there's a bits and pieces going on behind me right now. Greg Atkins is in the uh, bulldozer. He's doing some track work, but things are looking pretty good overall. Uh, there hasn't been much change from the the normal GP track. They've got a new new finish line jump, and that's that's a little bit around the track from where the old finish line jump was. Uh, the pit lane's moved a little bit. The track crews are here, they're hanging some banners, they're putting up the, uh, the towers, the advertising boards, and just making, making it look like the venue it should look for this biggest race of the year. There's probably about a few inches of really good, sloppy, sandy, loose surface that we're dealing with. Not quite lobble sand by any means, but it's, it's, it's sandy nevertheless. If you haven't seen the GP here before, I mean, it's a pretty flat bit of land. Everything's pretty much man-made. There is a slight bit of elevation in the back there, but there's a good number of obstacles that should separate the riders. Uh, a couple of big tabletops that should get some scrubs and whips off of, and big downhill behind me that it's going to be a good track for racing. It's not ready yet, but in a few days' time, this place is going to be round with people. The riders are going to be decked out in their national colours. The bike's going to be looking good, the fans are going to be here, it's, it's, it's really going to be a good weekend. I mean, the anticipation levels are building and come Sunday afternoon when the gate drops, it's going to be a cracking race.